Let's bring you the uh, news update for the time. Now we begin from the nation's capital, where the meeting of the National Economic Council has ended with a resolution to consider negotiating a new minimum wage for workers. There were also interventions introduced to cushion the impact of fuel subsidy removal. But state governments will play a significant role this time to ensure the palliative measures cascade to the poor and vulnerable in this society. TVC News State House correspondent Femi Akonde reports on this. Finally, there is a plan on how the federal government intends to cushion the immediate hardship caused by the removal of subsidy on petroleum products. But this time, the sub-nationals are expected to step up to the plate and drive the interventions that will give succor to the poor and vulnerable. At the end of the six-hour-long National Economic Council meeting, the governors reeled out the immediate, medium and long-term intervention plans. The states, each state, should begin to um, plan towards implementing um, a cash you know, transfer program that will be based on their social register of the states. We also talked about uh, ensuring that we paid our public servants outstanding liabilities, whichever way, if it's their pension, if it's their gratuities, uh, if it's their leave bonuses, and so on and so forth. There is a magnitude to which you're pumping money into the system, and then inflation even gets higher. Exchange rate depreciates the more. And the more the exchange rate depreciates, the more there will be pressure for pump price of oil to also rise. So, council is fully aware of all this. We're juggling many balls in the air. The federal government is also responding to all threats to food security and the need to push down rising food prices. At the National Economic Council, they directed the release of food stuff from the National Grain Reserve to poor households already groaning from the spike in food prices. NEMA, with the CBN, and indeed with the Ministry of Agri, and uh, we have some buffer stock that is already there with NEMA, and the uh, Council has directed the states will be allocated immediately substantial portion of food items grains and so on and so forth for distribution so that the prices of food stock will come down. But on the brighter side, the National Economic Council was pleased with the news of an increase in revenue generated by the Federal Inland Revenue Service. It was nice to know that they are ahead of their target for half year and we expect that before or by the time the year ends they would exceed. He also gave us some idea of what next year should be like. Now the three tiers of government will share the burden to cushion the impact of fuel subsidy removal. They must also work in time and establish a social register that is truly reflective of the poor and vulnerable. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja. The Nigerian military insists the troops were carrying out legitimate orders by setting ablaze empty Tura laden with 150,000 metric tons of stolen crude oil. At a news conference on military operations, the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, defended the action of the troops and also gave details on how troops intercepted a truckload of cannabis. Sifone Sien has the story. A forum that provides the military authorities the opportunity to provide updates on operations across the various theaters. It's the first time Major General Edward Buba will be talking to journalists since he assumed the role of Director of Defense Media Operations. Indeed, on the 15th of July, troops of Operation Awase during stop and search operation along Road Agilete, Uwode, in Yewa South local government area of Ugun State, intercepted and arrested a truck with two occupants, one a Ghanaian, the other a Nigerian. A search on the truck led to the discovery of 702 cartons of 12 caliber Resta cartridges, each carton containing 25 cartridges. Also arrested were 250 packets 
containing 10 cartridges of black pellets. Wow. And then... He defended the burning of a large vessel laden with stolen crude oil by troops, saying they were carrying out legitimate orders. Is that in the military, we work with instructions. Whatever instruction we get, we operate with it. If it is reviewed, we will operate with it. We don't make the laws. We work with the laws that are given to us. While troops succeeded in busting drug trafficking rings and intercepting ammunition meant for separatist groups, the new methods adopted by criminal gangs continue to throw up more challenges. C-Fun ACN, TVC News, Abuja.